Our first stop after leaving the United States was Guatemala in Central America. As soon as we set foot out of the airport, taxi drivers rushed us. We decided to take the safer route and waited 30 minutes to hop on a shuttle. On the ride to Antigua, we met Andy and Paulina from London who had been traveling for two months and going to the same hostel. We immediately thought, hey, we can get some advice. They were only planning to stay in Antigua for two days. We were originally planning to be there for a few weeks to attend Spanish language school. We ditched the Spanish lessons temporarily and mapped out our next 10 days around Guatemala with them. Our first stop was to see the volcanoes surrounding Lake Atatlan. After two hours, we arrived in Panahachel. We struggled to find our hostel, but eventually found a tour operator that stuffed all of our bags and all of us into his little two-door prelude. The trunk wouldn't even shut. La Jungla Hostel was about five minutes off the main strip. Sorry, sorry, where the heck are we? Uh, Panachel, Guatemala. And our hostel's kind of out there. Yeah, our hostel is in a... in an alley. We're in uh, Panachel, Guatemala. Um, we came to start our trek here. We want to go up to maybe one of the volcanoes or tour around Lake Atitla. Alright, so right now we're looking at the uh, volcano that we're going to head to tomorrow. Can you see the volcano? Yeah, it's, it's cloudy. Oh. It's, cloudy. <laughs> it's early in the morning, about 6.15. Uh, and we just picked up some, 6.30, we just picked up some uh, fruit from the market and we're waiting for the bakery okay. to open so we can get some uh, bread. We didn't even start yet. I know. We didn't start. This is alright. Yeah, it is. It keeps going up. I can't act like I'm in shape right now because I'm dying. So, here's our Sally. She seems to be leading the whole pack. Well, Obviously. this guide is leading the whole pack. Yeah, he's not even breathing heavy. No, not even a little bit. No. We're at a rest stop. We're about halfway now. Definitely halfway. A little further up. A little further up is halfway. Uh, we're taking a little break. Get some nuts from that we bought last night and drinking some water. And uh, Ursula's gonna feed me actually. We got about an hour left. About an hour. Oof. This uh, is hard. Yeah, I gotta sneeze. We're getting into cold weather. We can tell. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. Actually changed pretty quickly. Um, it was funny because right when we went through that change, we were all breathing smoke, like the yeah. steam. Not anymore. Not anymore. And the sweat, you know, coming off your shirts and stuff started smoking. It was pretty neat. This cake, this. No worries. Mm -hmm. about 10 minutes from the top. We got a lot of steps with rope, thank God, because I'm hurt. Looks like 
Cleaver near the top. I don't see many trees and seems to have flattened out. Yep. Oh my gosh. I am a one out of shape person. <laughs> did it. It was definitely not an easy uh, trek and I think I might uh, pack much later if I ever do something like this again. Yeah. <laughs> his backpack was very heavy, his day pack. It's funny because we started off in the front and uh, I was the last one to make it up. <laughs> but it's what well worth it. What do you have in your backpack? I don't know. I don't know. Too much. But it was uh, it's well worth it. Always happens when you get to the very top you forget all the pain that you just went through and try to forget the fact that you got to go back down. <laughs> it's right? beautiful up here. It's beautiful. It took us three hours. Not bad. We could have camped up here if we knew any better and had a day's rest. Yeah. But we didn't know. We're just starting out. What'd you think, Andy? An experience. An experience, yeah. Um, I've had the stomach cramp and I had to go for an emergency bushman. So I've never done that up a volcano. <laughs> but we're here now. First time for everything. First time for everything, eh? It's turned out that I think I may be one of the weakest in the group. It's a shame. That means I'm really out of shape.